Jimmy Haugen, the sales guy here at LPA Retail. In this short video, we look at the wild game order taking process. To start the wild game ordering process, our first step is to click the start order button. Once we've clicked the start order button, up will pop our customer lookup. This is where we select our customer if it's in our, our database or we can simply add the customer on the fly. We utilize the, the keyword string search to very quickly and accurately find our customer. Once we've located our customer, we click OK. Next we'll prompt billing information. We can have multiple shipping and billing information on a specific customer. Once we've selected our shipping and billing address, we click OK. Next, it asks us what type of wild game we're going to be processing. In this demonstration, we're going to process venison. When we click on the Deer Processing button, Up is going to prompt a box that's going to require us to enter in some information. What type of game? We select our game. We enter in our trim weight. In this example, we're going to use 30 pounds of trim, dress weight of 120 pounds, and a live weight of 150. We also can capture information on are we going to be doing anything with jerky? Are we going to do anything with fajitas? We can also track tag number, license number, freezer location of where we're going to store the product after it's been processed. Once we are finished capturing the pertinent information we want, we simply press OK. Next we have a lot of options to choose from. The first we're going to select is what type of sausages are we going to make out of our venison. The first type of sausage is venison summer sausage. When we click on venison summer sausage, it's going to ask us to enter the quantity. We can enter these quantities either in pounds or by a percentage. For this example, we're going to enter 10 pounds of venison summer sausage and 10 pounds of jalapeno cheddar summer sausage. As we move along in the ordering process, we always have the ability to click this check weight button. When we click this check weight button, and we click OK, it's going to calculate for us the remaining pounds of trim we have left over. In this example, you can see here that we have 16.6 .6 pounds of trim remaining. Next, we're going to select additional sausages for this order. Breakfast link sausages. The customer wants a percentage of the remaining pounds, let's say 50%, breakfast links, and 50% of the remaining seasoned sausage. What you'll see is if we check weight now, what it will do is it will take the percentages and turn those into pounds. You can see our remaining trim is under one pound. Once we have captured all the information on our order, we hit the tender button. In this example, I'm requiring each customer to put a down payment on each order. The down payment in this example is 20%. Select cash, say pay minimum. It's going to calculate the 20% down payment required we click OK. We hit the complete button. Once we've hit the complete button, this order is saved into our database and all prints an invoice for the customer and a pick, ticket, or cutting instructions for the butcher. Here's an example of an order. And here's an example of the pick ticket.
This completes the order taking process.